Okay, holy moly, had a little snafu there, but I won time, but now I'm only two minutes late, so that's plenty fine with me. Um, and guess what? Things are still acting a little bizarre, and I don't know why it's doing that, breaking my heart here. So, I don't know. We'll see. We will try to get everything in that we can. So how's that? Um, let's see, maybe, maybe, <laughs> oh, there we go. Maybe that'll help me out. I don't know. It's very crazy here. All right. So today we are talking about change and, you know, change is a constant in life, isn't it? So whether it's that unexpected flat tire on the way to work, or maybe there's a surprise teacher swap in the middle of the school year. Change is a way of sneaking up on us. But have you ever stopped to consider um, um, how your little ones handle these shifts? Because it really can be a wild ride. So let's talk personalities for a second. Have you ever noticed that uh, one of your kids may be as chill as a cucumber when they're faced with change, while another one what <laughs> just turn into a mini tornado of emotions, right? Well, as you know, I've got five kids and trust me, I have the whole spectrum of reactions that are in there. So some take it in stride while others, mm -hmm, let's just say they have their own strong opinions about how things should go, right? So here's the kicker. Understanding each child's unique response to change is crucial. And you know, parents, we can't just slap a one size fits all solution on the situation. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. It ain't gonna work, right? So how do we prepare our kiddos for the inevitable twists and turns of life? There are simple, converse, there are simple conversations, let me get that word out there, and a little mental prep that can go a long way. So whether it's discussing a new school or a move or even a canceled birthday party, ooh, not good. <laughs> Talking through those potential scenarios and solutions are going to help our kids feel more in control and they'll feel less anxious. So let's get real for a moment. Sometimes life just throws us a curveball and that no amount of prep is ever going to help us brace for that. So, um, it's during these moments that a parent can be supportive and understanding, and that's just what our kids need. It's really important for us to give our kids the space to grieve and to feel their own emotions and process things in their own time and in their own way. So parents, we I know we often wanna just swoop in and fix everything, but sometimes the best thing that we can do for our kids is to step back and let our children navigate the storm. It's about fostering independence, building resilience, and problem-solving kids skills, sorry, problem-solving skills with our kids at a very young age. And I know it's tough, and we're all learning together, and we're all in this like crazy um, parenting journey together. But in the end, um, it's not about solving everything for our kids, but it's encouraging them and building them up so that they can embrace it. And really change is cool. It's pretty fun. We don't always want to be on that same merry-go-round that's going around and around forever, right? And so um, we want to be sure that we're um, supporting them and um, we've, we're giving, we're facing things and helping them face things with curiosity and with compassion and of course, with just a whole lot of love, right? So, oops, sorry. There we go. Oh, I thought I had that turned off. <laughs> anyway, this week's podcast is episode 146. And it's one of the Parent Perspectives episodes. And my guest is Cindy Hunt. And she is the mom and of three girls. And gosh, she's a local photographer. And she really gave us some amazing insights on how she helps her girls 
through the changes in life and really turn it off maybe i thought it was off oh well um and um anyway she gave some great insights on how she helps her kids and her girls through those changes that occur in life and what fun we had and it was such a delightful conversation so be sure to check it out you can find it wherever you listen to your podcast or of course you can always go to www.imperfectheroespodcast.com and while you're there be sure to leave a five-star rating and a review you know that is so important for us to get the word out and to help us reach more families you know and if you're ready to dive into a treasure trove of goodies that are tailored just for imperfect heroes like you, you don't have to look any further. Imperfect Heroes Insiders is kind of your go-to hub for uh, great book reviews and added bonus podcast interviews. There's fun-filled activities to um, do with your little ones and keep them entertained. And there's just a whole lot more. It is up now. We're adding new stuff all the time. So I've got some book readings and reviews and some songs that you can sing with your kids. So why wait? Just find it on the website. That's the www.littleheartsacademyusa.com to hop on this exciting journey. Um, And um, you'll be an official part of our growing community and isn't that going to be fun and trust me it's the coolest freebie you're gonna snag all week so um hang in there i'll be back next tuesday and so until then let's find joy in parenting see you later guys bye bye